Brian Charles Ryan. Uh, we're presenting the Yarram District Health Service uh, Integrated um, Healthcare Centre. This is the uh, aerial existing hospital, which basically has uh, acute services, has an emergency, emergency department, and also has uh, aged care. And this building down the bottom is the building that's been demolished and replaced by this project. It's got, the project has a range of different health services in it, so a lot of allied health, community support type things, mental health, uh, pathology services. The main idea is to improve uh, collaboration, staff satisfaction and management of clients and to attract good quality staff and medical specialists to drive better community health outcomes. Yarram is about three hours drive from Melbourne um, and I mean one of the things about regional uh, health outcomes is that they're much poorer than city health outcomes and this project is about trying to drive those health outcomes. It's about 10 minutes south of Port Al Albert. On the way there you drive through um, lots of uh, plantation forests but also through some quite beautiful uh, national, national, park. <laughs> yeah, national uh, park with the beautiful canopy. The high rainfall in the area results in environments like this. Yarram itself is gathered around a main street. It's a gridded layout and it has this kind of irregular uh, edge uh, where it runs into farmland, a lot of it which is uh, dairy farmland. The hospital, it's a bit of a blurry picture, but um, the hospital is here. Our site's uh, in this location. And this is a little mini precinct on the end of town, at the edge of town, which has a whole lot of institutional type buildings, including uh, schools and uh, churches. And there are quite, some quite beautiful buildings that sort of speak of prosperity in the town. It's only 2,000 people at the moment, but it does have this um, fantastic uh, legacy of heritage buildings. Some are secular, some are uh, religious buildings of various denominations. And then some are commercial buildings on the edge of town. This is the first building that we encountered, which is a beautiful um, building with its lavish and expressive decoration. Yeah, that's, that's a, a, that's a uh, painting uh, by a local person some time ago, but of a photograph that was long lost, uh, which shows the original hospital building and its very distinct uh, circular drive. And in this building, we wanted the essential DNA uh, and part of this building, so really reflecting the uh, galvanised roof with the sort of zinc top and the brickwork base. But really taking that little sort of gentle little uh, veranda and making that part of the integral part of this building. Uh, the, the veranda and the main public spaces are generated by this curb which is basically driven through uh, the facade. The facade line is basically sculpted around that circular drive and around some of the existing trees. And you can see the effect of that on the north facade. So the idea of this building is that it is essentially about community pride, obviously to provide all those health services. We didn't, uh, and our client didn't want it to look like an in, a institutional <coughs> building as such, uh, but they did want it to be very distinct and recognisable. And it's about a place that people will feel naturally in attendance and not just going there when they've got an ailment or a disease, but to, to try and get people in early so they can have early intervention and stop problems and also family and health, uh, mental health problems developing into chronic disease. Um, you can see the way it's integrated into the hospital, it's connected into the aged health care and connected into the heart of the hospital here. The plan itself, um, fairly simple layout in some respects, I'll just run through the main aspects of it. So the, this is the veranda space and the front door to the uh, integrated healthcare centre, but there's also a doorway which takes you into the multi-purpose room which is used by the community. Uh, public spaces, uh, the main foyer area. These are the clinical areas which is really consulting rooms and there is a sort of uh, fairly uh, well-equipped uh, equipped, uh, treatment area down the front. Uh, these are the staff areas which includes an open staff room as well as um, a new boardroom. And then interview rooms, which are basically rooms between the um, consulting corridor and the staff area, which is used for, for um, counselling and consulting. Uh, the structure is fairly straightforward. Uh, it, the support line is mainly on this sort of north glass, glass uh, side, and then the roof is cantilevered over. The back half of the building is done in uh, domestic uh, type framing for cost purposes. Um, it has the energy is uh, driven by a plant room which is hidden behind uh, a parapet. 
Uh, this is this kind of in-between bit between the existing uh, heritage building and um, the new hospital. And this is uh, part, uh, there's different parts of this project. Another ancillary part is the energy for the whole of the hospital, which is, ge which eventually will ge be geothermal. So it's basically, that's part three. So part two is to connect an energy system and give air conditioning throughout the whole hospital as well as to serve this new building. One of the important aspects of this project was to use local products. And this uh, radial timber supplies actually come from Yarram, so it's a, it's a homegrown uh, product which they are now almost exclusively using their own plantation timbers. Fabulous project because a uh, fabulous supplier because they use all the trunk of the tree. Yeah, so it's really about that uh, sustainability and we really wanted to display that and as did our client. Um, so you can see from this uh, view entry you can move along the left hand side and go through the second arch to, to the multi-purpose, um, the main entrance uh, to, the, to the building itself. And the way that it's, it is trying to speak to those uh, very significant buildings in this little sort of mini uh, civic precinct. To the right is the entrance into the uh, healthcare centre. If you continue along the veranda space, and you continue along the veranda space, it will take you into that community uh, multi purpose room. And the veranda space was important, obviously, for shading as well as to have to a new front entrance to the school and the health centre, but also as a spill out space. So, if you're waiting, you don't have to wait in the waiting room, you can wait out here no, in the open environment. Which has been particularly good for COVID. <laughs> <laughs> we were so, picking ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so the uh, foyer, uh, obviously being very restful to display that timber, uh, just to give a sort of sense of well-being, not anything like a traditional um, hospital or clinic waiting room. Uh, it has views that highlight the adjacent church um, from both the public spaces and each of the consulting rooms looks back basically onto this church. And an open office uh, space, so the staff space was as important to us as the, um, as the public space. Uh, it, their well-being uh, really reflects on the quality of the service um, to, to their community. And the furniture's just been delivered in that photo, so... <laughs> it's not where it's looking too placed. <laughs> I think that's just about it. Um, just a couple more shots. Yes, thank you.